Alright guys, welcome back to Let's Play Friend Bo. So in the last episode, we made this little thinger jigger and uh, the ECOG uh, the ECOG Quok or something? What's it called? It's a weapon? What? what? It says weapon. And I quote, use the weapon. I don't know. You gotta use it on my buka. It can't be done. Creatures from above, get out from Mabuka's den. You're not welcome. Excuse me, but I'm looking for my cat. I need to wake up Mabuka. Just Mabuka? Mother Mabuka for you, arrogant little infant. And how do you know to, how do you plan to wake her up, eh? With the crazy ideas of Cogwind? He's Cogwind is a nice clockmaker. He's not crazy. Ah, uh, so you know him. I assume you've been to a, into a Thirsta. Horrid place, I must say. Too dazzling. Well, that's not exactly what. Well, that's exactly where I want to go after I find my kitty. Good for you. Your fragile little mind will be safe there from all those boring creatures. I'm going now, you wicked tree. My my kitty is waiting for me. Okay, Gabe, can I voice Mother Mabuka? That's fine. Oh, yeah. go. You look a bit like Remore. Are you cousin to Remore? Maybe. You're pr you're much prettier though. Oh, she's fucking slaying. Remor. Huh? You don't scare me a bit. Ah, uh, hello, little boar. Are you having a lovely time? Are you a friend of Mabuka? These look like human skulls. I wonder if they all died trying to enter Mabuka's heart. I have to be alert. You never know what can happen. Hush, hush. Mabuka is dreaming about you. Grinding with teeth your putrid skull. Drinking your tears full of fear. She grins while the blood of your eyes please her soul. Huh, you don't scare me a Okay, yeah, back to that. The floor is beating like a heart. Is this Mabuka's heart? Hmm, it feels fragile and strange at the same time. Strong. Wow, what a big, what a big, beautiful face. Are you Mabuka? If yes, I must wake you up. Cogwin came up with the machine to wake you up, so be prepared. Alright. That is incredibly silly, I love it. Ah. Uh. <clears throat> no, I don't. Hold on, hold on. Be aware right. of my buka. Are you? No. <laughs> Why not? Change the voice now. But it'd be so funny. I'm not hearing that. Be aware of my buka. The awakened darkness rises from the unknown. Oh, I'm. Just... <coughs> Sorry. Oh, I'm sorry to wake you up, Mother Mabuka, but I need a favor from you. Can somebody tell me who this creature is? Quite insolent for such a tiny body. Excuse me, but I can answer that myself. I'm Fran Bo, a human girl, 11 years old, and I'm very brave, so you know. A human in Mabuka's den? That's amusing. Who brought you here? That would be Remor. I think he's your son, isn't he? Did my son manage to enter your head already? You mean like cutting my head open? I don't think so. Did you drink or eat something of a reddish potion or beans? Uh, I mean, uh... Beans? My pills look like red beans, so yes, I took a whole bottle. Then I cannot use violence against you. The power has been unleashed. I hope you find beneath the ground the truth that you seek. Thank you, but what power has been unleashed? Can you tell me? The power inside you, don't you know? You were selected by the five realms of essential existence to be the keeper of the key. F-R-E-E. -E. Free. Are you kidding me? <laughs> they did that on purpose. The five realms of essential existence was created parallel with time. Just say free. What? What are you talking about? The Keeper of the Key? Who told you this? The Great Velocus from Prime Eve told us everything a long time ago. The Keeper will be hunted by the Son of Darkness after feeding from the Red Seed. But you are too young, I must say. Too young indeed to be the Keeper of the Key. There's something about you. Did something obscure happen to you? I think Remor killed my parents, Mother Wabuka. Can you imagine how it feels? 
I am all of those feelings, Franbo. I am all the sinister, all the darkness you can imagine. I feed from tears and sorrow, from desperation and fear. But then you don't care if Remor killed my parents? I thought you were nice. I am curious about knowing the reason, if that makes you feel better. Now I understand it's the reason itself, the truth you're seeking. Go on, Keeper of the Key. Be brave now. I'll open my heart for you. Oh, I was hoping I'd just fall. I love how there's a nice ladder installed in her heart. Yep. Okay, what the hell. <laughs> baby faces. Oh, that creature's body is made out of baby faces. The bath boy said something about this. I think it's the hijacker. Do I know you from some- Oh, that's you, isn't it? Uh, I mean, it can that's be. That's the nurse. It's the nurse from well, the Well, I mean, do I know you from somewhere? You took something from me, didn't you, you little thief? Where is my knitting needle, huh? Did you stab your little friends with it? What? Knitting needle? Are, are you the dead nurse I saw back in the Oswald Asylum? Do I look dead to you? Ah, you little beast. Take a number, would ya? And wait your turn in the waiting room. But Miss Nurse, I don't need medical attention. I just want to find my kitty. Take a number and wait. I won't repeat myself. You're too close to your mic. I'm not even that close. Anyway, though, um... You're, you're popping and also you're moving. Yeah, she wasn't actually bit. alive in the... She was the nurse we took the kneading needle from when we first yeah, got to the I, reality. Yeah, I know. I know, but it's the nurse, and you said you were doing all the nurses. I'm they listen, they see, and they touch. In a way, I feel like I'm back in the Oswald Asylum. But it can't be, or can it? Do, 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 do. Ah, I wonder how long I must wait now. Hours? Maybe days? <laughs> I've been waiting for a week now. How long has everyone been waiting? Hmm, I've been waiting for like a month. <sighs> but I have number two, so it must be my turn very soon. I've been waiting for three and a half weeks. Totally helpless. Excuse me, everyone, but is there a way to make things go faster? Yes, become a doctor yourself. That'd be faster. And by doing that, you could also help us all. But why won't you become a doctor yourself, then? I can't because I feel very sick. I can't. My R is blinded. My R I? Red eye. Okay. I have this broken horn, you see. I can't be a doctor. I must be a patient. Neither can I. I've lost my ability to frighten myself in front of the mirror. What? <laughs> well, I'm not sick at all. Please let me go before you, okay? I can't. I don't even know what illness I have. That's why I'm here. Hmm, but how... How can you not know? Do you feel pain somewhere? That's a hard question. Make it softer. Uh, how can I make a question softer? That's very strange. Hey, have you tried pulling your eyes off? It sometimes helps. Uh, enough. It's impossible to talk sense with any of you. Of course you can't make sense of us. You're not the one that sees it all. You've only known us for a few minutes. That's very little time to understand it all. Hmm, that's true, but it wouldn't be nicer... It'd be nice to use some common sense. Why? What does common sense have to do with uncommon sense does it? Well, it helps to, to better understand each other. <sighs> Why do we understand each other when our uncommon sense... We do understand each other with our, very well with our uncommon sense anyway. Yes, we actually do. We respect the differences. Hmm, but who is it that sees it all, then? You mean Mabuka? No, Mabuka sees everything. It's not the same as seeing everything. What? They said knows everything. Oh, okay. Now, I want to wait, because talking won't get me to wait faster. Oh, alright. Thanks for nothing. I wonder who could see everything. It's almost like we've seen somebody who's seen everything before and helped us out. I don't know what you're talking about. Hey, person who sees everything, Mr. Miss Robot. Mr. I Miss hope Robot you find your cat soon. I still see him inside that cage. What? I think you have to use your ticket number. No? Um. I tried. Yeah, yeah, I saw you did. <sighs> uh, that's weird, but we'll figure it out. Try using your ticket number on the guy. Ah, 
Ah! Do you see the screen? Do you see the screen? I have number two. It's almost my turn. Would it be possible to exchange our tickets? I have number seven. No, I need to know if I'm in pain. I need to know what illnesses I have. What if I found out what illness you have? Would you then give me your ticket? Sure, if I'm still here when you come back. Now we can go to the eye thing, I think. Yeah, I figured that's what it was implying before, but apparently I was one step ahead of the game. Also, uh, you're moving your mic occasionally. Excuse me, I need your help. Of course, of course you do. What can I do for you? Can you tell me what illness the creature who has number two ticket, the ticket number two, has? He's in the waiting room, waiting. Hmm, let me see. Ah, I see him, but from what I see, it's not really an illness. It's just a headache caused by the low levels of agony in him. Wow, but is it possible to help him somehow? I need his ticket. Yes, crying all the tears you can cry until you fill this bottle will do it. But don't forget, the tears must be caused by real sorrow. That won't be a problem. I'm in a very problematic point in my life. Problematic point in my life. I thought everything was going to be better when my kitty and I got home, but now everything's so confusing. Aunt Grace is totally crazy. Talking to her was horrible. I really trusted her. I don't know what to do now, but Booga said I was selected for something. But she fell asleep again and won't answer my questions. I need my kitty. Mr. Midnight's hugs are the best comfort in life. I just want to find him so we can get back to Thirst and be happy. Uh, that's not something I thought I'd ever see. Mmm, <laughs> mm, lovely pain, so profound. The bottle is now full of your tears. Give it to the critter that has your ticket. Go now, time does not wait for anybody. Thank you, I'll be going now. Goodbye. Yeah, he's still here. Here, drink this. You'll feel much better. What you need to do is actually pour it over your head. But all right, friend, be weird about it. Oh, trying to poison me. <laughs> How lovely. Let's see. It tastes like the most profound and darkest elixir I've ever tasted before. Give me more. Give me more. No, leave me alone. You promised to give me the ticket if I helped you. All right, all right. There you go. And thank you. Your tears taste absolutely delicious. Uh. Ding. Dotsa. Hello, patient number two. We're going to do all we can to save you. You're, you're peeking your mic again. Do you have an appointment? Well, not really. You told me to take a number and wait. I'm sorry. We don't help sick people without an appointment. But I'm not sick. I lost my kitty. I just want to find him. A lost kitty? Don't worry. That's a natural reaction of your sickness. You're lucky, though. Many lose their mind instead. Huh, lucky. But how do I get an appointment, then? Ah, uh, just call me. Here's my card with the telephone number. Oh, Are you one, insane? Two, two, one, two. Call us. But why must I call you? Why can't you just make an appointment now? Oh, that would be silly, because now I'm waiting for you to call me. Uh, all right, I'll go make a call then. Okay, what's the number? Mind writing down for me? We don't, we don't, well, I mean. Oh, yes, we do. Fine. Oh, one, two, two, one, two, one, seven, two, seven, six. I know, give me a sec. Oh, one, two, two, one, two, one, seven, two, one, six. Oh, oh bitch! You ask me to write it down, and as I'm writing it down, you get out of it. Gosh. Oh, one, two, two, one, two, one, seven, two, seven, six. Oh, one, two, two, one, two, one, seven, two, one, seven, six. Okay, I got it. Oh, one, two, two, one, two, one, seven, two, seven, six. All right. I believe it was in here. Yes, it was. I am correct about everything. Yeah, you oh, don't need it. I was one, right. God damn two, it. Two, two, one, two. Seven two seven six. All right. Oh, hello. Yes, you told me to make to call to make an appointment. Hmm. It's Fran Bo. Uh huh. I'm available now. No, no, I no. Yes, I do have a pair of eyes. Really? Okay. I'll see you in a minute then. Great, great. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye. That was awkward. Trust me, I know that feel, Fran. And now that we're done here.
Let's drop back down here. Hello? <clears throat> Hello, patient number two. Do you have an appointment? Yes, Fran Bo is my name, and the appointment is now. Let me check the archives. Yes, there you are. The doctor will see you in a minute. Just go through the door to your right. Alright, thank you. Let me guess, is Oswald and not Dearn? Frank? I'm sorry, did I scare you? You look quite pallid. I've never heard that word before. How does this 11 year old know the word pallid? Well, yes, yes, what a nightmare. You look like a healthy human. Oh, thank you, I guess. Now, if you don't mind, I have an appointment. I don't mind, actually, because it's none of my business. Oh. You haven't... You haven't chosen to end your life yet? Isn't the pain you feel enough? You're a Remor, aren't you? I haven't gotten the chance to introduce myself properly. <laughs> Sadly, I cannot make... I cannot be seen in the third reality for long periods of time. I am Remor, the terrible black, Prince of Darkness. I know who you are. Don't try to act like nothing happened. Did you kill my parents? Where's my cat? What do you do to Dr. Dearn? I enjoy immensely seeing your suffering dripping off your eyes. I feed from it. You're the manifestation of my desires. I can use you for whatever I want. You are under my power. That's not true. Not anymore. I won't allow you to trick me anymore. Tell me, why'd you kill my parents? Why? You're assuming that it was I who did such a terrible thing. Well, yes, we asked you and then you didn't deny it, so... I saw you that night outside my window. It must be you who did it. You trust your eyes too much. Haven't you learned that human receptors are weak? Your body is fragile, easy to corrupt. What? No, it can't be. Stop it. I didn't do it. I didn't do it. It wasn't me. Stop it, please. Who was it, my darling? Who killed your parents? You know, there's an issue with this. If human receptors are so weak, then why would we trust him right now? The dull little critters must suffer and die before becoming a star. Okay, the next two achievements we can get are in this next area, so you gotta be, like, careful with what you do. I haven't killed my parents. I haven't. That monster wants to trick me, I know. Everybody's crazy around here. I have to find my kitty and leave. I'm glad she has enough sense to not believe what Remor is telling her. A tank with water. Good. If a Kamala comes around, I'll know what to do. Or if I'm thirsty. Because, you know, that's actually the more reasonable thing. <laughs> he would look so funny without skin. We would look so funny without skin, not he. The spine, all the humans have that in common. I can always start a conversation like, Hello, we both have a spine. Isn't that awesome? What the fuck, for you? The brain has many different parts. It's like a delicate machine. Why does the brain have two sides? Why does... Okay, I guess that's just the same thing again. Okay, this is... This is the thing. Okay. Yeah, I... I, I know something. Kitty, my darling, I'm here for you, alright? Kitty, answer me. What's wrong with you? Meow. Meow. Why won't you talk to me, Mr. Midnight? Please don't do this to me. Talk to me, Mr. Midnight. This isn't funny. It's this place, isn't it? You must get out of here so you can talk to me again. I'll take you to Thirsta, my darling. Pauntress can help us. I promise you, nothing will tear us apart again. Oh, Kitty, I'll be right back. I must help Dr. Dion, alright? He seems to be in trouble. Can I talk to him? Uh, he's unconscious, but you can try. Dr. Dion, are you alright, sir? Sir, wake up. Please, Dr. Dion, wake up. Are you alive, sir? Oh, what should I do to wake him up? I see a red switch! What does this lever do? Oh, it's electri electric shock. I think I'll just leave it there. Huh, these buttons don't do anything. What does this lever do? 
Ow, it's electric shock. I think I'll just leave it there. What there does this go. lever do? <laughs> this is electric. How did you know that you had to do that? <laughs> because I saw this and I went, what's the most sadistic thing I can do in this room? Okay, the other one is um, go, go to the door. Like out the door? No. Close the door. Uh, Picture on the wall. Yeah. The old story. Center of brain research and pineal gland phenomena. Christine Fontaine, Clara Mia Bohomet, Gladys Hanna, Grace and Lucia Dagenhart, Dr. Leon Castillo, Dr. Oswald Harrison. That, by the way, is how I know Harrison, or Harrison, Dr. Oswald wasn't the one in the opening sequence, and then it was Dr. Dean and the nurses that found Fran because Dr. Oswald's in a wheelchair. Has been for a while. Okay. Okay, that makes sense. So, these two are supposed to be, uh... Fran's mom wait, and aunt. Okay. And these two are supposed to be, uh... Me and Clara. The twins? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Alright. Center of Also, research. there's a pentagram behind them. I'm... It's weird. Grace and Lucy dog and her... Okay. That's my mommy and my aunt. Isn't that the old nurse? Okay. That's weird, but all right. Oh my dear, please talk to me. I miss you so much, Mr. Midnight. Say something. Do you want to actually wake him up now? Wake me up. Wake me up, Miss You're not going to stab him or color him. <gasps> I can't do that. There you go. A syringe has red fluid inside. What could it be? I don't know. <laughs> Contents are the same color as my pills. Can it be? Smoke weed every day. <laughs> Dang, I can't close that myself. <laughs> uh, maybe this will wake him up. You see that sadistic look on our face? Yeah. Ah! Uh, wait, this year, sorry. Ah, damn, what was that? Don't worry, hey, Dr. Deer, and it's me, Fran. Ow. What? I can't see very well. Fran Burst. Fran Bow, sir. From the Oswald Asylum. Fran Burger. I was drinking water. I was swallowing while I was saying it. <laughs> we were at the cemetery, remember? Fran, what happened? Why am I tied to a chair? What have you done? Well, I'm trying to help you, sir. The big monster brought you here. We must go. Come on, Fran. Monsters? I don't feel like playing games. All right. It was a monster. It wasn't a monster. Oh, just let me help you. Hello, Oswald. Hello, Grace. <clears throat> but what is she doing here? I thought you chained her. I did, but I told you she's a hard one to tame. Do you want me to get rid of her? Get rid of me? Aunt Grace, what are you talking... Why are you talking like that? Who is this old man? How lovely. You sound just like your mother when she was young. My mother? Do you know her? Who are you? It's not like I looked at this painting, so I the picture, whatever. I'm Dr. Oswald Harrison. I know everything about you, Fran. Oswald? From Oswald Asylum? Yes, Fran. The same old man. But why does she... But why do you know about my mother and my aunt? Well, many years ago, I was studying the magnificent complexity of twin siblings. Lucy and Grace were a part of my study. Both helped me find to find the key to success. So is Fran a twin then? The key, huh? Did you know my mother and father were murdered? Yes, of course. Remor did a great job. His power of manipulation is extraordinary. What I don't understand is how you can be so calm about it. It was you holding the knife, after all. I'm not calm, sir. I knew it was Remor all along. But why does he hunt me? Remor is the manifestation of your weakness. A blinded and powerful manifestation of your fears. But why would the monster kill my parents? Because your parents were interfering with my work. But I actually did you a favor. You were suffering. And pain is connected to growth and strength, Fran. Oswald, please. Let's just do what we need to do. Aunt Craze, please don't be mad at me. We're family. But it's cool. My kitty and I can find a place to go without bothering you. Please, just let us go. Yes, you're right, Fran. 
I'm sorry for being so hard on you. Come on, let's go now. Dr. Dearn, are you alright, sir? Go with your aunt, Ron. Isn't that what you want? Alright. Dick! <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Oh, don't you dare. Fran, my dear, listen to me. You must know Dr. Oswald only wants the best for you. When Lucy was pregnant with you, he knew you'd be a very special girl. He told us to take good care of you, but your mother betrayed us. She wanted to hide you from us. She thought we wanted to kill you, but that's not true. Dr. Oswald really wants to give you the best. But for that, you must allow him to try a little experiment on you. And then everything will be fine? Of course. But there is still one thing we must take care of. This little traitor must go. No! No! Kitty! Come on, Fran, stop weeping. The cat is dead now. He was my friend! You killed my best friend! You also helped to kill my parents too, didn't you? Didn't you? How can you live with yourself? I hate you! <sighs> I hate you! Stop it, Fran! Help! Help! Please help! I'm being choked by a ten-year-old! I know. <laughs> like, use your arm, sweetie. Don't you dare touch Grace, you little monster! Oh my goodness, she's totally insane! <sighs> Bring her to me, I'll do the experiment while she's still warm. I need to extract the brain right away. Fran, are you alright? What have you done with her? She tried to kill me. You were right about Fran, Dr. Dearn. She was sick. But she's bleeding. Let me take care of her. No, you won't. She is mine now. I've been waiting for this moment for many years now. Looking for the right child, the right brain. Now that I have her, nothing can stop me. Except... Shoo! Shoo! Choo choo, motherfucker! motherfucker. <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> oh, Fran, I to everything see will that. be fine. Cass. Oh, uh, who, who are you? I'm Hitworth, the many, the one many children talk about. But, but you're not human. Ectobro, ectoprota, pontras, manakist. Also, by the way, fucking Grace, totally dead. Did I voice him or did you? I think you voiced him. Gorska, it where I found him. Oh my goodness, stay away from the girl, leave her alone. Kitty. Oh, kitty. Little Fran must be cured. Do you think you can use the same body? Yeah, she's not completely gone yet. Here I go. Oh, Mother Mabuka, you took the innocence of the child. Fran is now dead and alive. Wake up in darkness, Fran, you'll be able to walk towards light. I have confusion, but alright. If you want, I can take over one of your characters, because, like, your characters are going to be doing quite a bit of talking right about now. Uh, you can take Polantris out and voice All everyone right. else. Just use a cool voice. Okay. Oh, 
What happened? It weren't Pontrus. My head hurts. Mr. Midnight, how? You're alive, my kitty. I missed you so much. Please tell me something. Fran, we must go now. Go? All right. Dr. Deer and look, this is it, we're in Pontrus. I told you about them, remember? I told you that, that they were real, see? Can you believe me now? I don't, I guess he doesn't need glasses. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> he, he can't hear you. I think he's under the power of Mabuka now. He really must leave now. But can he come with us, please? He's been really nice to me. He really wanted to protect me and help me. We can't break with Okay, no. <laughs> I will take it back in I'm four sorry. seconds. I don't know what to do. I'm not good at picking voices. Just choose anything with that. I swear to God, though, if you do the thing I think, I'm gonna <laughs> I kill was you. gonna You're do that. Cool. It's one You're of the only things I'm good anyone. at. You don't want to voice anyone if you do that. Come on, okay, uh, anything. <laughs> fuck. Uh, we can't bring him with us. I'm sorry. I'm just gonna go normal. I don't care. Fuck it. But what yes. we can do is make him believe that all of this was a dream. He will wake up and think none of this really happened. But he won't remember you, Fran. I see. Well, that's okay, I guess, as long as he's safe. That's very kind. You're finally seeing beyond your own desires. You're becoming one with everything. Your parents would be very proud of you. Bobby Mike. You really think so? Uh, thank you, Pontrus. I think they'd be a little disappointed in her because she killed them. But you know, other than that, they'd be fine. Now let's send Dr. Dearn home. Yes. Still me? Yes! Ah, uh, come on. Marcel Dearn o onum vecma sudensla ecto. Stop fucking clicking off. I'm not clicking off, I'm trying to fix my fucking sound. Thanks. Goodbye, Dr. Dearn. Let's go now, Fran. There's no- there's so much you must see and learn. <laughs> that sounds like fun. Let's go, kitty. I still don't know many things. But one thing I do know... That between guilt and fear... I choose happiness. The end. Yeah, the ending is kind of like annoying because I'm like, I want to see more, but like, it's like, all right, whatever. So, Gabe, what do you think about the game? I liked it. I liked it quite a bit. I knew you would. What's up? So smart. No, actually, I really fucking hate it, and you have a terrible trait. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. Hashtag sorry, not sorry, bitch. <laughs> All right. Well, seriously though, I enjoyed the game. It's uh, interesting. I have a few questions, but it's whatever. Like what? <laughs> okay. <laughs> what? And look at the English proof. Great, yes, yes. <laughs> Good job, guys. You gave us one last laugh. I never noticed that. Okay. Jam translations by Thomas Rainbird L.P. Schneiders. Um, so, Gabe. Okay. What are your questions about the beta, it? The beta squad? Beta squad. I don't know. So what are your questions about okay. it, Gabe? First things first. Okay. So why did Remor do it if if uh, the mother didn't think we were ready to do it anyway? Because Remor he was just being a dick. Yeah, Remor just wanted to watch us suffer. Okay. What was the point of that brain surgery? I don't understand why surgery. he would need our brain. 
Like, he wanted our brain. Oh, because... And then um, De Deeran somehow got himself free after being passed out again. Walked up and goes, oh, I need to heal her. I need to, like, get her some medical attention when you just shot her. Yeah, well, um... The, um... The brain thing was because he'd been experimenting on twins a lot, and Lucia and Grace were like his big, biggest successes. So, like she said, he knew that when fr when uh, Lucia was pregnant with Fran, Fran was gonna be very special. So, why like, not just get why not just get somebody to have sex with Grace then, if you couldn't find Lucia anymore? Because I don't think I think it was just um, Fran was the special one. It wasn't just anybody that would be born by Lucia. It was Fran. Okay. Also, thank you for playing Franbo. Real quick, though, something I've literally had in my internet browser, so when we finished this, that I could tell you about it. One of the biggest theories of the game is that um, during the Holocaust time, Dr. Joseph Mengel did experiments on twins a lot at Auschwitz around the, and he did these experiments around the time the game was like set because you know we find out the time from the birth dates and the death dates of the parents and, and her yeah. so it said a lot of the times that uh, Dr. Oswald is supposed to be Joseph Mengel because of the twin experiments and the time zone that it's set in alright yep I thought that was cool so I guess guys thanks for watching this has been a pretty fun series it's not too terribly long or anything but uh fun <laughs> i uh enjoyed going after all the achievements i think actually i want to do one thing real quick so i'll meet you guys somewhere in the game okay we'll be rude but not say fresh out of the oven a cake eat it cake eat it i'm not interested in taking anything that comes from you you'll regret it it's very yummy. Leave it on the table. Okay. It's very yummy. Why not now? It's very, very yummy. No, no, leave it. Shit! Yummy. What the hell? How are we supposed to do this? What? what the fuck? What? We did everything last time! What the hell? Future Gabe, tell me what I did wrong. What? Oh. Future Gabe is the master of all things editing. Okay, guys, that was the final thing. That was the only thing we had left to do in the entire game. As you can see, we got the achievement. Sleeping Beauty. Sleeping and, Princess. Uh, Sleeping Princess. Ah, whatever. You, you know what I'm saying. Um... Yeah, that was stupid. That's exactly what we did last time. <sighs> Sleeping princess. All the achievements we've gotten throughout this day. I burn you is burning the rope. Sleeping princess is making the guards fall asleep. Pello Dolly is finding the twins' favorite doll. Fast on the snail is winning the snail against the snail five times. The kind thief is turning what you stole. Check is a fuga. Oh, oh, right, the the fire things, right. Uh, oops, you crashed the game. The it work computer crashes. This is Electro Man. Electrocute the doctor three times. It tasted fabulous. Is cake and sweet craving. Taking that one cupcake. I found my way out. Beat the maze minigame. Toad on board is beat the toter minigame, aka Frogger. Uh, troll run. Beat the troll minigame. The, uh, what was it? RPG? Cash? Shut the fuck up. I said side scroller. The end is finish friend Bo. Find Mr. Midnight is reunite with your best friend inside the twin house. Dr. Love is uh Kulturem is no longer divorced. Feeding the robot rabbit is give the robot rabbit three carrots. Okay, I was right on that. Memorials light the candles at the grave and the old story is find the picture behind the door. We've gotten every single achievement and that's a hundred percent for the game. Woo! Guys, next time. I have a few other series lined up to play. Uh, Close Your Eyes should be done before this game. 
so you should already know what my next game is ahead right at this point. Besides that, uh, I have the next another game. game. Uh, that it, it doesn't matter. I'll find. I'll, I'll I'll hope that I don't have to bleep this out. But guys, the next game is uh, Hyperdimension Neptunia. It's a game that Tom and one of the people who watched my videos have actually been asking me to play for a few months now. And I said I would. He bought me the game, Tom did, and said, I hope you enjoy it. And I'm like, oh, we'll actually do as a let's play. I hope you'll give me some tips from time to time. He's like, yeah, I'll we'll, you know, give you as many tips as I can. So that's cool. Uh, besides that, I do have a co-commentary coming up with Joss pretty soon. And uh, hopefully we can finish the other series on my channel that I can't finish yet. Stupid frickin' Justin. See you all in the next of whatever you watch. I hope you're having a, a fantastic day. Anything from you, Cass? Any, uh, anything at all? His snoring is very is obnoxious. That, that's really the best you got. All right, what? What? Fine.